Hi everybody, Christopher Naiman. Well, continuing with my tour of my sewing machines, I got an email one time and somebody said, hey, can you, do you have a regular just uh, industrial sewing machine for making garments and well, yeah, whatever? And I'm like, yeah, I've got one and I might as well do a video on it to show you. So stay with me. I'll be right back to show you my real industrial sewing machine. Okay, I'm back. Now, there really isn't much to tell about an industrial machine because it only does one thing. It only does straight stitching. And, but the cool thing about an industrial machine is it gets the job done. It gets the job done fast. And it gets it done good, accurately. Now, I, one other cool thing about it is that you can replace the pl needle plate and the feed dogs all by yourself. It's really easy to do. So, a lot of maintenance on this machine you could do yourself. In fact, I just bought a new plate to have um, my measurement guides on there and the quarter inch half inch three eighths inch and then another thing that I bought a while ago is a you it's a connector connect you connect this to your your presser foot piping and this allows you to cut your thread and then I also bought a seam guide it's a um, throw up throw down seam guide and you can adjust the width on it so when you're sewing, you can ride your fabric right up against there. Have a perfect seam allowance. This was only like under 10 bucks, I think it was on eBay. And that connects also to the, uh, you see how it's all connected back there? All on the foot itself. And that's another thing too. These are industrial feet, high shank industrial feet. And another cool thing about industrial machines is you've got a knee lifter. And I got a lot of padding on there because I, I, when you're doing this all day, you want a lot of padding and I sew a lot. And uh, you don't see me sewing a lot on this machine, but I use it a lot. And um, then I got my little Velcro up there, put my pouches and my thread snips. Uh, I got, I bought that extra light here, you can see. And then I have my overhead light, and there's a light in the back that came with the machine, back here. And I have all the LED digital lights and the coils. So really, everything is white. You'll have true white, authentic light. And I had put on one of my my um, measuring guides I always do and you can see from the oil it started to peel off that's why I decided to go with the measuring seam guide here because with all the oil you got to use in these machines it was peeling off and I thought well I'll just let it go for now and it's got a reverse like that and a, and a, a stitch dial for the length and that's all this machine has it's it's manual oiling but it has wicks inside so you would put your oil inside that compartment there and then it just roll oils down and then that's it. And then you got your big old foot pedal down there. So I picked this up from a lady who worked at a dry cleaners and she did alterations. And she was selling this with a table and everything for $200. And I thought it was a good deal because it sews really well. And all I did is replace it with a servo motor. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a servo motor. And what that does is I control the speed on it. There's a dial where you can control the speed. And then with your foot pedal, it gives it a little easier to control the speed that way. And I've gotten used to sewing fast. So sewing fast is something I do. And when I go to my domestic machines, my home machines, sometimes I get a little agitated because they move so slow. But I'm going to put this uh, camera up on a tripod and I'll show you how this sews. Uh, I think you're going to really enjoy this. And I think you're going to want one after you see this. And remember, this is old. This is generic. The, the name real. I'm sure it's, gene it's generic. You know, this, this, they all are copies of like the Jukies or the Brothers. And they're all made by off-brand names, off-brand companies, for whatever brand name you want to put on it, just like many companies do. So, all right, let me, let me put on a tripod. Okay, back. All right, so I've got a lightweight, well, actually a standard weight uh, construction thread in here, and that is on a big spool. Uh, you could buy these from um, all kinds of retailers, from uh, eBay. You know, honestly, guys, I get a lot of my stuff from eBay. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I buy a lot of my stuff from eBay, and there's Wawak you can buy. All these different places you can buy online. All you got to do is a research. So whenever you ask me these questions, where can, do you have a link? Do you have a link? And if I say, you know, I get it online, I'll tell you how I find these things. I do a Google search whenever and I want to look for anything like thread, presser feet. So if you don't know how to Google search, you're never going to be successful in your accomplishments. You're never going to accomplish anything, in other words. So anyway, so here, here's, here, now this, this doesn't have a real quiet sound to it because of the motor, the type of motor I got on here. But the, 
clutch motors, they, they stay on all the time. They're always going, whereas your servo motor, it only goes on when you press the foot pedal. But watch how beautiful this is. And I don't even have this up full speed. This is not full speed. Do not have it up full speed. But look, look imagine how, much, how quickly you can get things done. And, in, and also in industrial sewing, we don't use pins. We use our fingers as pins. So you're going to take, save all that time having to take pins out. Sometimes I just sit after I oil my machines and I just run them, run and test the fabric. And the longer you, you, you use your machines, the quieter they'll get, which you'll find out, which you found out in my Singer 401A. Now that was at uh, two, about two, two and a quarter, about two and a quarter stitch length. And just watch, I'll turn a stitch length up. We'll do that to uh, about three. You'll see a difference how much faster it sews at three. Now I could turn the speed up on this, but I don't want to sew any faster than this. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that nice? Now, see here's the thread cutter in the back. Once you release the thread, you pull it up here, cuts it right off, right? Okay, so let's use that seam guide. Let's bring, bring that uh, drop-down seam guide. All these fabrics are left over from my shirts I made, so I got lots of scrap fabrics. Okay, so there's your seam guide. Now let's just pretend these are two. There we go. Like you're making a shirt or something. See how nice that knee lifter works? And there's that thread cutter there. This is a beautiful, beautiful stitch. I'm going to zoom that in there for you to see. Isn't that a beautiful stitch? There's the front, and here's the back. It is a beautiful, beautiful stitch. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to fold this over again. You know, sometimes I go on sites and I'll watch people sew. I'll watch the professionals in the factories sew, and that's where I pick up my ideas, and that's how I learn also. You watch how those, you watch how those people hold the fabric, the type of machines they're using. There's a lot to be said about learning just by visually watching. And there's that stitch. Isn't that beautiful? Here's the back again. So that's it. That's all this machine does. It does straight stitch. It does it so well. It does it fast. And you get all your projects done. So this is my straight stitch industrial sewing for, for when I'm doing garments. Um, I love this machine. I really love it. I don't know how old it is. Uh, I look, tried looking it up online, but I don't have anything on it. Uh, I'll show you the model number on here, the tag. If any of you professionals out there that study vintage machines for a long time, if you know, after I show you, leave a comment for me below the video. Thank you so much. And let me show you that. Uh, okay, tag. here it is. DB-622, and what does that say? It says, uh, Sanon, Sanon, must be the manufacturer, Industrial Sewing Machine Company, LTD. And that's it. And like I said, it says the brand name is real, which I'm sure it's just made for somebody. But that's all I know. This is all I can tell you about this machine. Like I said, I got it used. All right, until my next video, you all take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye now.